Gloin, son of Groin, was a dwarf from Blue Mountains. He was born well after Smog had driven the dwarfs out of Erebor. Gloin had one older brother, Oin. As a very young dwarf, being only 16 years old at the time, he took part in the Battle of Azanulbizar, the battle fought in front of the gates of Moria, the last battle of the war between dwarfs and orcs. After the battle was over, Gloin returned to live in Blue Mountains, where his son Ghibli was born. Later, when Thorin Oakenshield was gathering support for his quest to expel the dragon smog from the Lonely Mountain, Gloin and his brother Oin, as well as their cousins Balin and Valin, supported him and, under his leadership, set with the rest of the company upon the famous journey. After Gandalf recommended them Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit, as a burglar to join them, Gloin showed he did not think high of hobbits, calling them simpletons who would never dare to come within the smearing distance of the nakedest dragonet new from the shell. Luckily for him and the rest of the company, Bilbo proved these prejudices wrong. Gloin was deemed very skilled in starting the fire, using his old-fashioned tinderbox. After many adventures with trolls, goblins, orcs, works, giant spiders, elves and other creatures, Thorin's company finally reached the Lonely Mountain. But neither Gloin nor other dwarf dared to go inside until they had no other chance, being trapped in a secret passage by smog caused avalanche. When the news of the dragon's death reached them, the dwarves barricaded themselves inside the mountain and awaited help from Iron Mountains. Dain and his folk did not let them down, but on their heels came orcs, and so the Battle of Five Armies began. Gloin fought hard in the battle, following Thorin when he sorted out of the mountain, and defending him when Bolg's guard surrounded them. After the victorious battle, Gloin joined the Dain, the new king under the mountain, and made Erebor his home. There he was joined by Gimli, who came to live there with his father. After many years of happy living, Sauron's messenger arrived, requesting help in finding the hobbit Baggins and the One Ring, offering gifts and friendship. Dain did not trust Sauron, and immediately sent out Gloin and his son Gimli to Rivendell to inform Elrond and warn Bilbo. Over there, Gloin met his old friend Bilbo Baggins and Frodo, among others. Later, he took part in the Council of Elrond, which dealt with the current crisis and the future of the One Ring. While his son Gimli joined the Fellowship of the Ring heading south, Gloin returned home to the Lonely Mountain. We assume he managed to return in time to fight against the Easterlings in the Battle of Dale. But whether he survived the battle and died later of age, or was killed fighting the forces of Sauron, remains unknown.